Alright guys, welcome back. Manager 2018 European Journeyman here, HK Sibanek. And today we take on Dinamo Bucharesti or Dynamo Bucharest. Um obviously you saw us for the Dynamo game. Obviously this could get confusing. Dynamo is in Dynamo Zagreb, not Dynamo Bucharest. <laughs> um As far as I'm aware, if we win this we go through to the group stage. Now there's some, I mean, it makes sense to me with the teams that are here, that would be the case. It's a big game. It's a big game. You know, I've not saved it for a little while. I'll save it up real quick. Um, this could make or break this season for us. Um, I think I've mentioned in previous episodes that I wanted to maybe split off the Sibnex save. But I wasn't sure about what's going to happen with it. I'm not going to split off the Sibnex save. Uh, save reason being as I said before I want to potentially bring in another game to the channel and by running three football manager saves at the same time I am going to limit myself with doing that. Um, what we are going to do is get as far as we can in the Champions League with Sibonek. If we don't get anywhere in particular we will move on. I love Sibonek, I really do. Um, I'm having a great time here, but we don't get anywhere in the Champions League. I want to get out of the group stage. That is that is my goal with Sibonek for the season. Obviously, if we manage that, we'll finish off the season. If we fail, then I'm going to look at going somewhere else. And I'm sure some people will be like, but why? Um, the reason being, we've had a lot of time here. We've spent a long time here. Now. Not like seasons-wise. Only been here a season and a half. It's the start of, uh, well, we've been here over a year and a half. Basically, we're about to start our second actual season. Um, but I think it's time to move on. If we can't, I mean, I I, I want to do what I can with this team, but it is a journeyman at the end of the day, and we've had a, a lot of episodes based around Sibonek and I think we just need to maybe look at going somewhere else I have faith in you um, and depending on what's available we may do so um, obviously we looked briefly I think it was in the last episode about what was there Matos Milos uh, yeah that's going to be a pain in the ass because he's out for three months um, it just depends what jobs are out there um, I don't think we're going to, obviously we're not going to win the Champions League. There's no chance of that happening, but we could, we could, you know, get through to the group stage, could top the group, could go through to the next part. But I think that'll be our, our limit. Hopefully we can at least financially get the club sorted. Um, all right, let's make the, those changes, float that ball into the box, let's push forward again. So, I keep going around in circles. But yeah, this will, it doesn't matter what happens. This will be our last season at Sibonek. Ricardo, was he offside? No, but you've got a penalty though. Lovely. So they've got a yellow card. We've got a penalty here. Bozic to take it. At the keeper. Well done, mate. You fucking melt. At the keeper. That was our chance. That was our chance. All right, let's do that. Push forward again forward again thank you so we are dominating at the minute um five shots to their none possession they've got more <coughs> but we're having more shots you go rammer free kick no one on the end of it and they've got a break here anton let's play as a random kimano desi yeah they've, they've scored here so close so close so glad they didn't Let's push forward again. All right, and we'll set that to retain possession. Spano. Bozic. Oh, nearly makes up for his... Uh... <coughs> oh, his penalty miss. His really disappointing penalty miss. 
Come boys, it's a home game. We need to go we need to go to Bucharest with goals. You know, we need we need to go there with the lead. Nil nil draw is not good enough. Stark, Rama, Spano, Stark, Sare, Sare, Bozic, <laughs> fucking two right boy. Lovely stuff. So we're one up. A uh, little header from Bozic there. Um, assist from Perry Sare. Let it go with a long ball forward. Hopefully we can get a second one. I want to go. I really want a two nil lead going through to. Uh, Going to Bucharest, Spano, Rossi in, Ricardo. There we go, that's me 2-0. Um, as long as we don't concede any, I'll be happy. That's the main thing. We cannot concede an away goal. That could really come back and bite us on the ass if we do. Are you doing anything? Not really. It's better to hit half-time. We're going to G the boys up a little bit. Uh, we're going to tell them to encourage and push on. So... Keep it up, lads. Talk to this midfield first. Get a bit of passion. You ain't a bad, you can still improve. Uh, attack. Improve and defence. Again, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? You can still improve. All right. We'll make another sub. Another? We'll make our first sub around about the 60th minute. Second one about 70. Maybe the, the third one about 75. Just try to spread them out a little bit. Sarah is looking tired. Uh, Spano is starting to pull down a little bit as well. I think Sarah will be the first guy to go. Uh, we'll bring on Hadzic for him. And then maybe Spano. We really, really cannot afford to lapse in defence. Let's go to a control tactic for now. We'll bring off... Mm, no. Bring off Sarah first. We may actually do both of these guys at the same time. Yeah. So... Our two fullbacks have been switched out, which means we've got some fresh legs. Hopefully, they won't be running around our guys. Come up to the 70th. Stark is looking a bit tired, so we're probably going to switch him out for uh, maybe Roglic. I think, yeah, Roglic will be a good good shout. And we're going to get you to play ball winning mid. Just try to keep the ball, <coughs> stop anyone from running through. We're going to go to a. I know, that's not what I want to depress. We're going to go to concentrate. I'm going to tell them to keep it sort of steady and, you know, just keep it clean. Did we get another one, though? I mean, we could. We're not looking as tired as they are. Adzic, Rama. It's a good effort. I don't. I still don't like people shooting from outside the area. Um, I mean, I, I know Spano put some away in the last game. But I still don't like it. Long shots aren't really a strong point for us. They may be actually. I've not really looked. I need to go check these things out. Roglic. Find Bozic. Referee's going to blow his whistle up. Lovely. So we go to Bucharest with a 2-0 lead. We're going to tell the team they've done really well there. Lovely stuff. Hand over to the assistant. End the talk. Lead the match. And we're going to cut back in for the next one. See you in a sec. Right then, guys. So... We're back for the Dinamo Bucharest save, uh, save Dinamo Bucharest game. Uh, in between the two matches, we had a home match against Hajduk. We won 4-1. Um, if we have a quick look at that, we can see that all four of our strikers, strikers, strikers that got on the pitch actually scored a goal. So that's good. Um, what we are going to do real quick, though, is praise up a couple of players. So I want to praise up Carlo. I've not praised any players yet this season. Um, not really, anyway. So I want to give him a sort of a G up for this game. Because after this game, it is the group stages. If we win, of course. That is the main thing. We've got to win. Uh, if we don't win, we don't get the group stages. Um, and I really, really, really want to get through to the group stages. Who else got an 8 point something? There we go. Roglic got an 8.1. We're going to praise him the last game. I should go ahead and go through the entire squad at some point and praise their training levels and all that jazz. But can he be asked? So, 
for our home game, we didn't actually play at our crowd, at our stadium, and we picked up 28,722 fans. That brought in £600,000 uh, in gate receipts. So I'm wondering if for each home game of the Champions League group stage, if we go through, if that's going to happen. Because if it does, that's going to be fucking phenomenal. Anyway, this is the team we're going to go with. I've not really changed anything from the last game. It's the same, it's the same setup, basically. Uh, not going to change anything because it seems to be working. <sighs> why fix what ain't broke? You know, or why, well, I was about to say why broke what ain't fixed, but anyway, not allow complacency to undo. Go out and treat as if you start from scratch. Carlo, mate, Carlo, you, you need to understand that I have faith in you, so go out there and get, make a difference. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the players responded uh, positively to that. He responded negatively, but then what we said got him on side. So, Tunnel. Team's little selections off the little on the way surprise. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the game, though. Basically, they're saying, you keep picking the same players, mate. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fucking sure. They're our best players. We don't have much squad depth. Um, if we do go through, I have four days to get some players in before the transfer window shuts. We need to get through, get a big bit of money. I'm only getting 40% of my transfers out back. But um, yeah, I'm really, really, really hoping that the board will go his 6 million. So although 6 million isn't a lot of money uh, in European Champions League football, it's a lot of money for us, and I can do a lot with that money, I feel. I've certainly proven that I can do a lot with the fuck-all money I've had so far. Let's push forward again. So I think with six million, I'll be able to make some some strong additions to bolster our midfield. Maybe, like I say, get a nice, strong defender. Spano, mate. What are you doing? That was Bozic. Why did you... We could have done more there. We could have done more. Ser. Zvenia. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Stark, Spano. Uh, tries to get a Bozic. Sago. Oh. Michelle, mate. Michelle. If, that, if you'd have got that goal, that goal, if you got that ball in the back of the net, that would have been, I think that would have been us through, to be honest. Gerbic had an attempt. Hit it straight at the keeper, of course. Uh, as is tradition. And, yeah. Uh, Dinamo Bucharest have had most of the ball possession. That's fine. We're going to change things up, though. Look, look we're going to light the crosses in. We're going to do all that jazz. Do all that jazz. All right. So, Spano. Stark. Stark. Sir. That was one of the better players on the edge of the, uh, edge of the box there. That had gone in. Uh, we've been... It's been a fairly even game. Five shots to three. We've had more shots than they have. But they've had more possession. So I say it's been fairly even. But if we can get a goal. If we can get a. Fuck. <coughs> of course they will get a goal. Right. Okay. Let's push forward. Because I, I don't really have much else. With this tactic. Other than attack, 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 attack. Uh, we could go overload. Let's try overloading. And away goal really, really stand us in good stead here. Spano. In to no one. Keat. Just cunts. Cunts. Fucking cunts. Um, right. Roglic. Gerbic. Gerbic to Stark. Stark. Spano. We do like this right-hand side, don't we? Bozic. Cross. Ricardo. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, that's good news for us. That is good news for us. We've got an away goal. Still got our two-point lead. But obviously, they will have to then score an extra goal because they don't have an away goal. This is good. This is good. This is very, very good. Right. Let's have a look at the other games, shall we? So, Rijeka, uh Rijeka could join us as well. Look, Rijeka doing well here against CSK Moscow. Red Bull Salzburg uh, beating Carbonhaven. Genka beating Sporting, but I mean, Genka got two away goals as well. 
Uh, Celtic are currently winning 11-3 on aggregate. <laughs> there's some there's some games going on, I tell you. Yeah, Celtic are beating Legia. Sorry, not Legia. Um, don't look at the scoreboard. I think the job is done. There we go. Motivated. I am not Mr. Motivator. I am the wrong colour. And I'm not that old. But I have got some motivation going in the squad, which is always good to see. Oh, that's good news. That go that goal has really cheered me up. I'm just, it's just... Oh, can we do anything? Will we get any money from the board to try and improve the squad in the next... For, well, within the next four days. Really, really need it. Um... I'm really hoping we get a decent group, like, like not a really, really hard one. What's the chances we're going to get like Barcelona, PSG, and Man City? You know, that'd piss me off. Bozic, oh. that would have been a nail in the coffin there. If that had gone in, that would have been the nail in the motherfucking coffin. Right, come on, boys. Have a look at the updates. No changes. Rijeka now winning 2-0. 3-1 on aggregate with two away goals. You know, I mean, I'll be quite happy to see Rijeka go through. I mean, it's it's good for Croatian football that that's happening. I mean, will that increase their, their coefficient? I don't know. All right, let's get a tactical substitution in. Why did I do that voice? Let's get Pandarov on. Uh, Roglic for Rama. And Zavrenia, yeah, Zavrenia for, ooh, Derek Morris, I think. <laughs> so we've got three fresh pairs of legs on. Always good. Morris making a fairly good contribution to the game from the off. Letica, you need to really... I'm, I'm really tempted to call him Letitia. But I know it's not. It's Letitia or something like that. Bozic. I mean, it could be... I mean, do we change his name to Letitia? It's tempting. I mean, we've got Letitia Spanner. Look in ya. Look in ya. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we have a bit of a laugh with the names. Stark, Buzic. Oh! It's okay, though. Pandorov picks up the rebound. Pandorov's goal was shit, but that shot was absolutely phenomenal. It's a shame. I want to see that again. It's a shame it didn't go in. I mean, Stark, and then he finds Bozic, who turns, bang, off the par. And then Pandorov just basically nuts it in and not. Let's push forward again. Let's have a look at this update. Legia, I've pulled back two more. Uh, obviously, nothing else has changed. Salzburg, pull one back. That's going to probably go to penalties, that one there. At least extra time. Ricardo, Pandorov, Pandorov, Lozic. <laughs> that keeper done some hard work there. He did some hard work. Didn't quite hard work hard enough though. That's um, it's it's unfortunate for Bucharest that. I mean, Ricardo, Pandorov's great attempt, great save, good reaction save second time around as well. Just couldn't do anything with Lozic. We just held on to the ball maybe, but that was good goalkeeping apart from that. The defence was to blame, really. <coughs> Let's do a concentrate for the last couple of minutes. Let's switch from an overload to a standard, because why? Why carry on overloading? I completely forgot we were overloading. That could have been dangerous. That could have been very dangerous. Right. So, that's it. We are through to the Champions League group stage. Excellent work. Excellent work. Well done, everyone. Uh, we're not going to go into the rest of it. But that is fantastic. And the Champions League group stage is happening pretty much straight away. So we are going to do that. How much money did we get? That is the question. And will the club give us money to work with? 1.78 million. So no. How? Oh, wait, wait. So we to receive 11.32. So we've got awarded that for winning in the game. That's fancy. Fancy? That's fantastic. We fancy our chances against some of the remaining teams, that's for sure. Spaniel was, yeah, was fantastic. <laughs> Can I praise up your game? Apparently not. 
and we've been awarded 11.32 million. So if we look at our finances now, 14 and a half million. Board, 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 board. Give me some transfer budget, yeah? Oh, you wankers. What about wage budget? You wankers. You utter, utter greedy cunts. I am fucking livid with that. Why, not, why haven't you given me more money? Do you actually want this cup to become something? <coughs> oh, absolutely fucking phenomenal. This accounting network's been upgraded. Great. Great. That's fantastic, guys. For um, I'm, I'm, I appreciate you upgrading the scouting network. But how am I supposed to buy players from around the world when you don't give me any fucking transfer budget? Cunts. Brought all the success to the club. All of the success to the club. Club wouldn't be where it is without me. Without the signings I've made. And yet you don't want to play ball. Fucking assholes. That has pissed me off a lot. That has really... If it weren't for the fact... Oh, that's, that's really pissed me off. Right, anyway. Let's draw the next team. So, get this first lot underway. So far, I think I would prefer Group F. Hmm. I think, I think Group F is still, still favoured. Group E's looking good too, to be fair. Group E or Group F, please. That's Rijeka and Group C. No. Oh, you f fuck. So we get Manchester City, Real Madrid and Roma. That is a, uh, a, 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 a sucky group. That is a sucky group. But I mean, that Gelsenkirchen job is still looking like it could be available. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Please, board, please give me some fucking cash just to spend now. Just do it. Do it. Do it now. You going to? No. Nope, yeah, I know we've been turned into the tough group. Guess what? It's been made even tougher by the fact we've got no money. I mean, I could have bought I, I could have bought this guy. I could have bought this guy. I mean, I could I could have bought this guy. I mean, look at him. He's 21. Looks solid. But no, he can't have the money. Because that's going into our pockets. I brought you that money. I brought you that money. Some of that money is rightfully. Mind to spend. It's still. Uh... Right, anyway, guys. So, we are through to the Champions League group stage. Um, do you think we got a decent group? Do you think we could have got a better group? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, like the video if you have enjoyed today's video. And if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Also, Comments below, comments below, as well as the groups, the teams we've got, and how we're going to do. Let me know, should we maybe, after the betrayal of the board, look at maybe moving on? Because I consider that a betrayal. I really do. That's really, really upset me that they're not going to help us out. They're not going to help themselves out by helping us out, to be honest. That has really, really pissed me off. But anyway, guys. Do let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you for the next one. I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.